temperatures dropping down into the 50s, maybe even 40s inland. It's because the air is so dry, it allows the temperature to swing so far down, and then the sun is so strong this time of year, it swings right back up. There is a breeze. Winds are out of the west southwest right now. We're going to continue to have that wind again tomorrow, too, so that fire danger continues for one more day tomorrow. Should start to improve by the end of the week once we see the wind start to die off a bit. Here's the same wind speed tomorrow in the afternoon at 50 miles an hour. The gusts could be a little strong tomorrow afternoon. We might even see some gusts between 25 and 30 miles an hour. So it'll get a little breezy again for the second half of the day tomorrow. Sky conditions stay nice and clear. There's a few thin clouds overhead now. Some rain and some snowfall far to the north. That's not going to move in. So we're going to continue to have sunshine for our day ahead on Tuesday. Highs are going to be in the low 70s tomorrow. Upper 60s into Wakefield and Smithfield. Also for the peninsula, you're going to see those upper 60s in Yorktown tomorrow. And also in Williamsburg. Mid 60s for the eastern shore. So staying cool tomorrow. Not seeing any rain at all for this week ahead. So if you have your garden started, make sure you keep an eye on those small plants that you purchased. Make sure they stay nice and healthy and watered because we're going to stay very dry all week long. A lot of sunshine, though, so great for things to grow, but just a little dry throughout the area. Here's Wednesday, still looking at sunny skies. Here's uh, Thursday, still looking at clear skies. Throughout the day, Thursday, we'll have mostly sunny skies. Friday, we're looking at a lot of sunshine. Saturday, too. Here's Saturday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Not much going on until we have a front come in on Sunday. It could bring us some rainfall into the area. This looks like a lot of rain, but remember, we're looking far out into the future, so this is going to up it, and it probably won't be as heavy as it is advertised here. I hope we can get some rain, though, because we're going to certainly need it by then. So that's really a good six days out. Maybe some rain on Monday, cooler next week with highs in the 60s. Well, between Richmond Raceway and Martinsville, Kyle Larson looks right at home when it comes to short track racing. We're recapping that tonight. And Jalen Hurts seeing all kinds of green. We're not talking about those Eagles uniforms. Next on the Sports Track. Tonight on America's
rooms to go. We make furniture shopping easy, fast, and affordable. Visit us today. Now it's time for cleaner indoor air with an air duct cleaner from Scanlon Schemer. You've known us for carpet cleaning, but we've been cleaning air ducts for over 20 years. We do things the right way, cleaning your entire system. So if you need an air duct cleaning, call 1-800-SCHEMER today. All right, a new week here on the Sports Wrap. Happy Monday, everyone. I'm Craig Loper. You hear a lot of times Cup Series drivers talk about their love-hate relationship with short track yeah. racing, but apparently okay. Kyle Larson, no issue with it. He was right at home yesterday in the Martinsville. Let's uh, recap that race yesterday. Here we go. And a little bit of tip between the seven of Corey LaJoy and the eight of Kyle Busch here. Look at Bush with a little bump and LaJoy. A little retaliation, almost wrecks Bush there. How's that for a short track battle? But you know, Bush has never been one to lay down. Here comes Rowdy, bumps the joy from behind. Back at you. A great back and forth with 30 to go. 25 laps to go. The five of Kyle Larson right there in the 22 of Rainy Cup champion Joey Logano. Door to door for the lead. Larson moves Logano up the track, takes the lead, and goes on for his second win in the last two weeks, making him Hendricks Motorsports team. Uh, they've been finding their stride recently. I think we're honestly close to as good or just as good as we were in 2021. Um,